previously on Karen Puzzles. Today is the mother freaking day. One down, 9,119 left to go. Oh my God, there are so many pieces, it never ends. Ah! Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh my God, oh no. I'm back and it is day five of the 9,000 piece astrology puzzle. Just as a reminder, here's where we left off at the end of the last video. So since I already have most of the inner circle in place, in this video, I'm gonna be working on this outer circle. And I've been thinking a lot about what my strategy is gonna be because what I could do is do the columns, do this outer ring, basically do the entire outline and then fill in each individual wedge. Or what I could do is do the outline of the most distinct wedges, fill in the middle and then work my way around it that way. And you know, I've been thinking about it a lot. I still haven't um, made up my mind. I think we're all gonna find out together when we watch the puzzling montages and just see what I decide to do in the moment. Okay, I just spent three hours straight on this and it is looking incredible. Look at that, I got all of the columns done. So now it's like a star. As you saw in the time-lapse, um, I started with the orange section and I got the top of that one done as well. I started filling in these pieces and then I got a little stuck and bored. And so I decided instead to just go ahead and finish all of the columns instead of doing it section by section. So these are all of the pieces that are gonna make up the rest of that outer outline. Really not that many pieces. So I think I can definitely finish that this afternoon. So here's just one more shot of how it's looking. Oh, that's so cool. That looks so good. Oh my God, I swear I blinked and another three hours went by. <laughs> I 
think I made some really good progress today, but I am so tired. <laughs> that took all my brain power. <laughs> I'm gonna go lay on the couch for like four hours now. <laughs> All right, well, day five was very productive. I cannot believe how fast I am flying through this puzzle. Now, I do have one piece that seems to be missing. It's the only piece from this section that I just could not find. So I'm really worried that I am actually um, missing a piece. Maybe it just got missorted. You know, I'll keep an eye out, but... <laughs> I really hope I find it. <laughs> anyway, I know that uh, yesterday a lot just happened in the time lapse. So let me show you some of the details of how I got this done so quickly. So basically with this outer ring, you can see there's actually kind of a lot going on in here. So um, each one of the words has this star right in the center. So those were super easy to get into place. And then I could just kind of sort by what color or texture was on the other side from the stone. From there, I could then finish filling in all of these rectangular textured pieces. And you can see how this one has like a very strong shadow there. Whereas over here on this side, it is a much softer shadow. And also some of them have pretty distinct colors. Like this one is more of a blue, while this one is much more of a pinky type of purple. And then there's also this line going all the way around to the outside and you can see like over here it is very faint and kind of like a light purple and over here it's like a dark purple basically it just changes color all around which is very helpful when you're doing such a repetitive part of the puzzle so my one regret so far was to start working on this orange wedge i really did think at the beginning i was just gonna finish the entire thing um i quickly got stuck and so now it kind of ruins the symmetry of this beautiful outline that i created i was almost considering like taking these pieces out just so i could get a nicer photo but no, it's fine, it's fine. We're just gonna move on and fill in the rest of them and then it'll all look fine. <laughs> okay, so next let's take another look back at some of my original photos from the first time I did this puzzle. All the way back in 2009. So the first time I did it, I did start with the edges. But then we jump forward quite a bit and I have just this one photo to kind of illustrate to you how crazily I did it the first time. Look at this. So all of you who are like, I would love to do a 9,000 piece puzzle, but I have no space. I didn't have any space either and I still did it. So basically I was doing the puzzle in different sections on the foam board, but it is definitely much more difficult to do that way than it is to do like this, where you can just lay everything out and see it all all at once. And so that's one of the reasons why it took me so much longer the first time. But then another reason is because I did the entire thing sitting on the floor. That's kind of why I spent so little time on it each day. Like if you think I'm complaining about my body hurting now, it is so much worse when you're sitting on the floor. So I actually took a lot more progress photos towards the end of the puzzle. So I'm gonna get to those soon, but for now, um, Okay, here's what I'm gonna do next. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly finish up the rest of the outline around this whole circle, or uh, should I say dodecahedron? Is that the 12-sided one? <laughs> you can see how a lot of these have that line that I was talking about, so it'll be relatively quick to just get those put into place. And then I'm just gonna start filling in all of the wedges, probably starting with red, and then we'll just see what I feel like. Oh, 
Oh my God, I was just filming another close-up of this missing piece and I just realized this piece is uh, on the wrong half of the puzzle. So I have to pick them up and walk them all the way over to the other side. Oh, and here it is. Oh no, oh my God, oh my God, is that my missing piece? That is fully my missing piece, oh my gosh. Plot twist. <laughs> Wait, so where's this piece? <laughs> okay, I guess this is the missing piece, not not that one. <laughs> All right, well, this section is done. <laughs> now I have a missing piece over there. All right, it is about 2.30 p.m. I've been working on it again all day. I officially have two of the 12 wedges almost entirely filled in, and I just found something very exciting. So I had to look through all of these green pieces uh, for the last section, and do you guys see it? Do you guys see it? It's my missing um, outline. I don't know what to call this. My missing piece. <laughs> I had fully just missorted this, so there it is.
All right. It is day seven of the 9,000 piece puzzle. I actually took the last two days off from the puzzle uh, because I had a really bad headache. And this is the kind of puzzle where you need to be in top mental shape to take on. But I woke up this morning feeling 100% better. I am so excited to work on this today. I honestly think I might be able to finish all of the wedges today. Do you guys think I can do it? <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was three straight hours of puzzling. Look at how much I got done. I'm so happy with my progress this morning. I finally got the lion done. I was having so much trouble with this. I don't know why. I got this kind of blue purpley texture done on the bottom here. I worked my way through most of the red pieces. This is all that's left of those and I got both of these sections pretty far along. The only three sections that I haven't really started at all yet are um, this one, which has a lot of purple sky pieces that I'm sure are mixed in with the background. Same thing with this one, I'll be able to do the bottom half, but a lot of this was probably sorted out with these pieces. And then this one, which just has a lot of star pieces, but I really don't have that many pieces left uh, for this center part. So these that I just showed you, this is all that's left of the blue and green pieces. We still have this entire box of star pieces, which I'm expecting will be pretty difficult to sort out. And then this is all that's left of the white pieces. And then of course the miscellaneous box. I love this puzzle so much. I'm having a great time today. Today is probably the best part of the puzzle because after this, then we have that whole sky to do. I'm, I'm just not even thinking about that yet. That's that's not even part of this puzzle. We're just we're just not even gonna go there yet. <laughs>
Oh my god, I can't believe I'm actually gonna do it. <laughs> After another three hours, I officially only have one more complete wedge left. It's only 3.30 p.m., so I still have plenty of time. These are all of the pieces that I have left. I'm so excited. I love this so much. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was a full day of puzzling. It is 4.40. I think that was a pretty productive day. <laughs> but, oh my gosh, I can't even think about this puzzle anymore. I have to go do something else for a while. I will be back to tell you all about it. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, <laughs> I finished the outer circle. <laughs> um, I know I said that it was my goal to finish that all in one day. I kind of didn't actually think I was going to do it. <laughs> that was literally only three days of puzzling that got us from this point to this point. That is so wild. <laughs> When I did it the first time, I dedicated an entire summer to it. And now I'm like, yeah, you know, a week or two. So, okay, I have two wedges that are entirely finished. All of the rest of them are missing at least one piece, but most of the pieces that are missing are starry sky pieces. So I still had a handful of pieces that I had originally sorted out but instead of spending a lot of time trying to get all of those in place when I was still missing a bunch, I decided that I would wait until I could go through the box of star pieces again. And now that I know what textures I'm looking for a little bit better than I did when I was sorting, now I can find all of these missing pieces all at once, and then it'll be way easier to get them all in place. Um, a quick note to anyone worried about my back, I am totally fine. This part of the puzzle honestly felt like a cardio workout because I was up and down so often. I was walking all the way around the puzzle, stretching to the center of the puzzle. Unlike the sorting where you're sitting in one spot for hours at a time doing the exact same movement, um, doing this part of the puzzle really felt like a full body workout and I wasn't nearly as sore at the end. So, okay, let's look back at a few more photos from 2009. So even though I did do the edge first, I didn't uh, connect all of it and I didn't lay the entire thing out because I just didn't have the space in my bedroom. But eventually I did rearrange it all into one big surface, um, still without the edge, but at least the circle is all in one piece. And I didn't even realize this, I left the exact same wedge for last both times that I did it. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's so funny. I had no idea. So after getting it all in one piece, I finished up all of the stonework outlines and that got it to the exact same point where I'm at right now. Look at this though. Um, I didn't quite have enough space for the entire circle. So I just have this one little part on cardstock right on top. All right, so that's where I'm gonna leave it for today. So far, I've put in 34 hours and 19 minutes over seven puzzling days, which I think is pretty fast, but the next video is all about this giant purple sky, so we'll just have to wait and see how that goes. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> So here's what I want you to do down in the comments if you've watched all the way to the end. I want you to tell me your best guess for what you think my final time is gonna be. Remember, we're at 34 hours so far. So let me know, hours and minutes right down below. Whoever gets closest to my actual final time will get a shout out in the next video. All right, that is it for today. I have to go, um, mentally prepare myself for the rest of this puzzle. <laughs>